a Fruity Pebbles. I'll do a Apple Fritter, Strawberry Passion Fruit. I'll do a Caramel Apple Pie. What's up guys, welcome to the video. So today we did make a road trip all the way out to Orlando, Florida. So we went to this place called Valricky. So the reason why I went here is because they do have gluten-free and dairy-free donuts, which I've never had like vegan donuts before, so I'm really excited to try them. And uh, yeah, it was a little bit of a hike, but you know, why not? You know, have some more fun, travel a little bit. Absolutely. So we did go with four donuts, and now these things are pretty massive. So we did go with a caramel apple pie, I believe. This one was a strawberry passion fruit, fruity pebbles, and then the apple fritter. So yeah, I just went with four donuts today because these things are pretty massive. So uh, yeah, I didn't want to get six and then be a little too overwhelmed. So I think first... You have to eat the apple fritter first. Yeah. All right, so first we're gonna go with the apple fritter. Now look at this thing. Looks damn aesthetic. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Bro. Money? Mmm. Wow. The apples just taste so real. Mm. Damn, this is amazing. And dairy free? Wow. And they still managed to get it right. Mm hmm. Bro. What do you get there? Protein bean snacks. Enlightened? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. It's like a high fiber, moderate protein, moderate carb. Nice. Mm -hmm. We have the homie Coach Cabrera. He's going to be joining me for the day. And he's actually going to be helping me film uh, some of just like the camera work or whatever, just to add some variety, you know, some moving shots as I'm eating and stuff. But um, yeah, instead of just having the tripod set up and just the standard basic angles, you know. But I do what I can when I'm by myself. So this is the strawberry passion fruit. Now you guys know how I feel about strawberry flavored donuts. So let's give it a whirl. Yeah, I can smell that from here. Dude. It's amazing, bro. Amazing. I wish you were eating these with me right now, bro. Mmm. Mm. Look at that. Yeah, so far I'm really digging these donuts. It's a cool little twist. So they are kind of a little more like doughy slash bready. But really tasty. Nothing like a little bit of sugar to kickstart your morning. Mmm. What, uh, what do you think I should do? Pretty pebbles. All day. All, All day. day long. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> All day long. Alright guys, so this next donut is the fruity pebbles. That thing is massive. Yeah, dude. Yeah, these things are yoked. But here we go. That's crazy. Mmm. Wow. Now that I think about it, I should have got six. <laughs> these things are just going down so nicely. Okay, my friends, so the last and final donut. Okay, okay, is... okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Here we go. 
Yeah, this is the caramel apple pie. <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> wow, man, non-stop. <laughs> I definitely could have took down six of these. But again, for the cheat days, it's just for full enjoyment. Like I have been cutting back on the amount of donuts that I do consume from 5-0. Because six donuts from there is a lot of calories. It's a lot of food, lots of lots of fat, carbs. So to keep you well satiated for a long time. So just by cutting back on one of the donuts, um, I just feel like it digests a little bit faster. I'm able to eat a little bit sooner. Bro, yeah, these donuts are fantastic. They look good. Man, we should keep Yeah, next cheat day. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, so Kabir is currently doing a mini cut. Mm -hmm. So if you guys want to follow along his progress, be sure to check out his channel in the description. Basically going from how much, how much weight do you plan to lose? Not a lot, just maybe like six to eight pounds. Yeah. Yeah, aggressively and then just be done with it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so if you guys wanna learn all about that process, see how it's done, be sure to follow his channel. Lots of informative stuff on there, lots of value. And yeah, I look forward to those videos, man. My man. But all right, that is, that is it. We are done. Woo! So I'd say overall, it was well worth the drive. So we were originally gonna start the cheat day in Tampa, but since there aren't any good donut shops in Tampa, we decided to make a little bit of a drive, and I'd say it was well worth it. Plus, we got some vegan donuts, and if you guys are in the area, I highly recommend you check these guys out. These donuts are awesome, they're vegan. But yeah, if I'm ever back in this area, I definitely will be back. So a huge shout out to Val Ricky. I, I hope I said the name right. But yeah, donuts are amazing. And that Valkyrie. is going to be Valkyrie. Valkyrie? Val Val Ricky. It's a K, right? Valkyrie. 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 Alright, we'll just call it that. Valkyrie. So the time is 10.42 a.m. And that is the start of the cheat day. Okay, my friends, so it is 1.37 p.m. and we literally drove straight from the donut place to downtown Tampa. It took us a super long time because there was so much traffic. But we are going to a Jamaican restaurant called Jerk Hut. So pretty excited to have some Jamaican food. Hey, man, hey! <laughs> We're Listen go to my story, man. Cheat, man, hey, man. Trolls. Okay, my friends, so we are here at Jerk Hut in downtown Tampa, and we have this amazing plate of Jamaican food. Really excited. So this is the plantains, and then this is rice, the bean mixture, and then this is barbecue chicken. And damn, does this, I wish you guys could smell Is it barbecue this. chicken or barbecue? It's barbecue. <laughs> so uh, I don't even know where to stop. What, what do you think I should go for? Definitely the chicken. What is that? <laughs> This is this is the plantain. Definitely the plantain. Yeah, here we go. Wow. Wow. Yeah, 
say what's weird about me is like when I eat a dish, like even when we went to breakfast the other day, I got French toast, but I ate all the fruit first and then ate the French toast. So most people will go for savory first and then sweets after. I just love the, the shock the system with the, with the sugar. <laughs> So this is the first time that I've had Jamaican food on the channel. And um, you know, I do take a lot of suggestions from all of you guys at home and whatever you guys have recommendations for me. So I'll try to add as much variety as I can. And yeah, so last year I did have some Cuban food, which was really, really good. And man, these plantains so far are amazing. I can't wait to dig into these next. Okay. Last plantain. Dude. I'm actually mad that this dude ain't having the cheat day with me. You're gonna miss out on some good food, bro. I am more sad than you think right now. <laughs> well, I mean, it is what it is. When it comes down to dieting and you have a goal, it really um, takes a lot of consistency, you know? And obviously you can get shredded doing cheat days. I did it, you know, 12 weeks of dieting while doing a cheat day every weekend. And you know, I was consistent. I did hit my calorie goals and I lost weight. It's just some simple math and being consistent. Mm. Some barbecue sauce on that rice. Sweet, sweet, good. All right, so here we have some barbecue chicken, skin and all. Wow. That is perfectly cooked. It just falls apart in your mouth. So whatever you guys recommend that I should try next, comment down below. And now we'll try to find a restaurant close by for the next cheat day. Actually no, next weekend we're going to Miami. So that's gonna be a blast. It's almost like baby back ribs. They're so tender. It's like baby back chicken. Baby back barbecue chicken. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. <laughs> this dish is fantastic. Got a leg. Look at that. guys so overall this meal was absolutely amazing I enjoyed everything from the plantains to the rice and the beans and the barbecue chicken really on point so if you guys are ever in the downtown Tampa area come to the jerk hut really amazing food here and again I'm sorry if I ate it improperly if that's not the way you're supposed to eat this type of food um, like I know that somebody said when I was eating Indian food I did use a naan and put rice on it along with the curry but they told me I was doing it wrong 
that's just the way I like to enjoy food. So yeah, again, sorry, but yeah, the spot was amazing. All right guys, so we are just doing a little bit of post meal walking. Again, I like to walk at least like 30 to 60 minutes after each meal, help with digestion. Obviously, the last meal in Orlando, we didn't walk, we just drove straight here. But just getting in a little activity here in downtown Tampa. Uh, what, you, what you got, bro? Yeah, I just got this sweet potato mix, chicken, and broccoli. Super basic, super simple, but tastes very good. Enjoy, man, bro. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm great. Can I have a beef hard taco? All right. A chicken soft taco? And I'll do a chicken chalupa, please. All right. And I'll take a cinnamon twist, please. Okay, cool. 778. Thank you. No problem. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm great. Do you want any sauce? Can I have fire sauce, please? Yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, my friends. So the time is 5:20 p.m. and man, the the time on these cheat days just really, really fly by. So we are getting in our next meal. We did decide to go to Taco Bell. So what I did get was well, you guys did hear me order, so I'll just kind of go but just to refresh your memory uh, I believe it was a beef hard taco a chicken soft taco and a chicken chalupa as well as a cinnamon twist so let's uh, let's dig right in I think first first we'll go with I say we'll start with the, the soft taco and then we'll go to the hard taco and then we'll go with the chalupa and then finish it off with the cinnamon twist sound good all right so let's see what we got here. And again, I just chose Taco Bell just because I haven't had it in a really long time and it's super quick, cheap, and pretty simple and easy. And it tastes pretty good. I know a lot of people are probably like, oh, Taco Bell, that's nasty. Hey man, I do a cheat day every single week and I try to just add different varieties, like add in some fast food stuff here and there and just basically having variety. So here we do have the chicken taco. It all looks like it's cheese. Let's throw a little bit of the fire sauce on it. Fire. All right. Okay, here we go. I know a lot of you guys missed that. I haven't said it in a while and People were asking for it, so you got it. All right, guys, here we go. Mm. I'll tell you what, it doesn't look too special, but it's pretty damn good, mm. wow. Next up, we have a beef taco. And again, let's put some more fire sauce. Yeah, that stuff is so good. All right, bon appetito. <laughs> Wow, that just really reminds me of nachos. It's just basically a, a nacho taco. <laughs> mm. All right, moving right along. Next we have a 
chalupa. All right, this thing is packed. So we do have lettuce, tomato, cheese, chicken on this. I guess, is it called the chalupa because of the, the actual bread? Because it's almost like a chicken and soft taco in one. We need some more fire. Here we go, chicken, chalupa. Wow, there's a lot going on right there. So there's actually sour cream in it as well. And the shell is really amazing. It's basically in between a hard taco shell and a soft taco shell. So it has like a little bit of a chewiness to it, but the outside has like a tiny crunch. Mm. I think this one's definitely my favorite. All right, last and final bite. Mm. All right, and now moving on to the dessert. So right here is just some cinnamon twist and yeah I did have Taco Bell and the cinnamon twist in my 15,000 calorie cheat day video which was a challenge like it wasn't that fun to do but a challenge is fun once in a while even though it's not fun oh I like to compete with myself Okay, so that meal went down way faster than I thought it was. Um, I probably should have got more food, but I'm actually decently satisfied. I mean, I could always fit more in my stomach, but um, yeah, that was just enough. And I do think for the next meal, we're gonna go to this place called Wood Fire Pizza. Now, Cabrera has been there before. He actually went to go train. And um, yeah, so we're gonna meet over at that spot or I'll just scoop him up and then uh, we will check out wood fire. So pretty excited, you know, last cheat day I didn't even eat pizza and that's one of my favorite things to eat. So I'm kind of excited to check out wood fire and see what they have. All right, okay, so where are we going? He's about to go to wood fired pizza. If some of you guys watched my vlog when I ate here, it's unreal and you're gonna see why. All right, let's go. Wood fired pizza. This is uh, Tampa, right? This is in Tampa. Okay. Yes. So I'm from Brooklyn. Now, Pizzaiolo in Brooklyn, who is a Belgian born, classically trained French chef, says, How come you don't have a pizza with Brussels sprouts on it? What do I say? Because my mom would put them in a pot of boiling water and they would come out bitter, nasty, filthy. He says, Never had a quench man. Mike, how did the quench man? Oh, they peel the tender leaves, and at 800 degrees in your wood fired oven, they take on this waxy, toothy mouthfeel. It would be indescribable. So, we collaborated on a pizza, and I now call it the Palombino Pie. So, we have a layer of fresh Brussels sprouts with our house made fresh mozzarella, and then we put prosciutto on top. We then have a blend of Asiago, Fontina, smoked provolone, and Parmesan. A little bit of olive oil, some garlic that's been shaved on a Japanese mandolin. Bake it for about two and a half minutes. It comes out and I present to you the Palombino pie. Looks amazing. And his name is Matthew Palombino. <laughs> Right. I hope you love it. Thank Let's you go. very much. Wow, 
Wow. All right, so here's the deal with the crust. It's where Italy meets New York. So, I've removed all the defects from an Italian pie, which is super soft crust, totally floppy. Got to cut it with a knife and a fork. You're now allowed to pick it up with your hands. It's the perfect food. Yeah. It comes with instructions. It says, pick me up there at the hand. <laughs> it's got a point there. It says, stick that in your mouth first. <laughs> All right, you feeling what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Nick, come I, on. I dig it, man. Okay, so then where does New York come in? New York comes in because it's the first high temperature bake in this country, right? Except it's a cold and they use really cheap ingredients. So what would happen is, I took the best of Napoli, the best of New York. So no super silly soft where you gotta cut it with a knife and a fork. No cheap ingredients, cost no object ingredients. And I combined it with like chef collaboration. That's what you're doing. Yeah, it was phenomenal. Wow, yeah. The way the dough is, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. You weren't kidding, bro. Bro, it's no joke. Mm. He's a master of his craft. He put it cooked perfectly. Yeah. Good, good. Wow. It's lit. Which pizzas did you try? I tried Dante's and Raquel. Both are really good. Raquel is a margarita pizza. And Dante's is like almost like a meat lover's style pizza. Mm -hmm. oh, this is a nice little twist, man. Yeah, it's different. Mm -hmm. With that little hint of olive oil on it. Mm -hmm. Money. All right, where are we at? Amazing. Tell me what you're eating. Quality. <laughs> olive oil, extra virgin. Yeah, the olive oil adds a nice little kick to it. So it takes the fragrance of the aromatic, in this case garlic, spreads it across the entire top of the pot without having to put, you know, 20 slivers of garlic on it. That's the difference. That's called parsimonious topping. All right. You don't need a lot to get the flavor. You want the flavor. You don't want to be beaten up with it. You want to achieve balance. That's what you've got. All right. The guys, Matthew is a freaking genius to come up with that flavor combination. Yeah, it's phenomenal. Me, all I do is submit. <laughs> He's awesome. Dude, he knows his stuff. Yeah. I like that guy. Oh, yeah, he's, he's the man. He's the greatest of all time. If you go look at my comment section, my comment section for that video I did, everyone was just calling him the GOAT. has a perfect texture. Yeah. Yeah, he gets very creative and like puts different ingredients or like takes, you know, other pieces and stuff that he's seen and like puts his own twist on it, you know? It always comes out really good. Mm -hmm. One bite. Mm. Get a little char on the Brussels sprouts. And has a nice little crunch. So, since you were last here, we came back from Italy and we decided to make a Bay Bay Burrata pie. She mentioned something like that to me. Which is what I'm going to bring you out next. It takes a little extra time to cook. Normally, we serve it uncut so that you actually get to see the burrata. But in this case, I'm just going to cut it and spread it out a little bit in the middle. Sure. But it's going to have a very earthy, uh, truffly sort of flavor among many different layers of the bread. Okay. Nice. Up for the challenge? I'm ready for it. All right. It would be an injustice to do it one bite. Baby. Yes. It's everything I tried here last time was unreal. So we can do. Oh yeah.
C D E F G. It's go time. Right. Now this is a participatory pizza. It's going to require you to actually cut it. After I dust it with the Grana Padano. All right. So you're going to have to first of all tell me how much. Grana, as you know, is in a Reggie Corn family, aged six months. Okay. So it's got a nutty flavor profile. It just so happens that there's some nuts on this pizza. Roasted salted pistachios, very thin layer in the bottom. Pine nuts. Pine nuts and garlic are going to accentuate our house-made pesto. That's Lily's pesto, award-winning from 1896. We've got some cremini mushrooms. We've got pancetta. And we've got the aforementioned burrata. I just love how passionate he is about <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. All right. So we've got a wheel. The way it works is you cut it on this, and then we're going to slide it to that. Okay. There we go. Yeah, once you go, don't stop. And you, you don't want to plow, you want to like try and get on top of it. Okay. See, you didn't know cutting a pizza was a skilled position. Yeah, people think it's just <laughs> Yeah, everybody's yeah. like, oh yeah, anybody can do it. Yeah. <laughs> no. Skill. That's pretty good. <laughs> Right. Never a pie like this though. Okay, so Tara's going to slide it over. So what this is going to do is a screen system that will allow the steam from the bottom of the crust to sort of evacuate so it doesn't become mushy. Totally so, all right. It's a system. <laughs> Let's go. Got it on point, man. Damn, this thing is crazy. It looks pretty intimidating. It does. <laughs> there we go. So kind of hot. You savage. Wow. Dude, there is so, so much flavor in this. Like you can taste the pine nuts and the, pistachio, the pistachios, along with the cheese, it just has that creaminess. And yeah. Along with the pesto. Nice. It's crazy, bro. Together. That flavor. That's a whole lot of pizza. <laughs> mm, I've never tasted pizza like this before. Yeah, he's been he's been killing it. He's been for like 11 years. I think he said this place has been around for 11 years. So it's like it's a lot of time to like perfect it, you know. Just still, just by the way he speaks, you can tell. Yeah, just knowing like the details of it. The lady that I collaborated with, Priscilla, was a sushi. Chef down in Brazil. So she just has a great family and she understands. And together we collaborated. Like she was doing the pine nuts, but not the, the pesto. And I'm like, no, no, I know where you're going with this. We gotta have this. Yeah. As soon as we hit the pesto, it locked in yeah. and they took it off in stress. Awesome. Do you mind This is on another level. I've never tasted anything like this in my life. Look at that pesto. Pine nuts, mushrooms, and just Savage. pure goodness. <laughs> mm. My man. Okay, so we've got some chef's cream on the outside, some, some chocolate syrup, but the cannoli cream is my nanny's family recipe. The only thing I've added are chocolate chips. 
Now on the ends, we have the little mini chocolate chips, and then we have my favorite, which is the salted and roasted pistachios. So, <laughs> hey, I, let me just say, these are gonna blow your mind. Yeah, it's if, if I remember right, it, it tastes extremely cold, right? It should be cold. It's 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 nuts. Yeah, some it's, desserts warm, other desserts cold. That's supposed to be cold. Yeah, down in one. It's just the whole thing. Wow, it's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now it helps to flex, okay, when you when you're doing it. Okay? <laughs> wow. It's good. Up early 1900s recipe, which means like no modern ingredients whatsoever. The real stuff. Right? Yeah, I've never had a real cannoli like that. I've had like the ones you buy in stores. Store made ones, yeah. Like family parties or something. Yep. But that is pure amazing. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the one thing. Like, well, all, everything was good, but like I remember trying that, and it's it's light, You're welcome. super cold. You it's, What's your name? Let's go. All right, now try this. It's a chocolate chips. It's gonna be a little crunchy. Thank you, Peter. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Bob. You're Tim. Thank you. All right. So let's get some plate scrapers on the next one. It's like it is bananas. Dude. Yeah, on the side. Okay. All right. It's bananas. I told you. Okay. So. So that's what cannoli tastes like. That's what cannolis are supposed <laughs> to taste like. Now, and what happens is they have the wrong balance of flavors and the, the shell. The shell's supposed to be crunchy. You know, the inside's supposed to be soft and gooey and together. That contrast works. Mm -hmm. Not overly sweet, but sweet enough. Again, that's my New York style ricotta that we use with some spices. Now, you could have dipped some ends in the chef's cream. Now, so here we go. This is a tiramisu that I import from Italy. You know why? Because I can't make one as good as what they make in Italy. It's just lady fingers. A little bit of espresso on top some mascarpone cream. That's all it is. It's designed to be a digestive. That's what it is. Very soft. Oh, wow. Make sure you try it with the chef's it cream. It will literally melt in your mouth. Get to get a coffee? Yeah. Yeah. That coffee pop is amazing. Right. Now, you've had tiramisu how many times? A lot. Yeah. Right? Over the years? You ever had coffee on it? No. Nah. That coffee kick is amazing. That's exactly what I thought yeah. when I tried it. That's Italian. Yeah. Mm. They, they do everything with coffee. Nothing. Yeah, I love coffee. Nothing is done without coffee. Wow. That kick of coffee is It's brutal. It's money. Yeah. Now, it's the real stuff. Am I doing that to, to try and make a ton of money? No. You don't import this stuff to make any money. But you do deliver on the goods. Now, my whole point is, if you're doing crab pot, crab apps, crab beer, crab wine, you can't cut back on desserts. Yeah, yeah. Stuff. That is seriously like the best finisher. Yes. It's like you don't even need to order coffee, it just gives it right to you. Yes, yes. <laughs> dude, this thing is insane. It's insane. I told you, dude. I told you. Bananas, 
slight graham cracker crust, not overpowering. Dig in. It should be very creamy. It looks so aesthetically pleasing. Oh yeah, just chunk it up. It's so good. Thanks, Peter. I believe I did try, yeah? That, that complicates it a little bit. How is it? Dude, isn't it like super high quality? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like cheesecake buff. The banana just stands out. Along with the chocolate and the, the kiwi and the strawberry. All right, so we're in Italy, and Bebe keeps on getting croissants, and she prefers the ones that have Nutella. So just a tiny little wisp on them, because it's really expensive. So she's like, you need to create a dessert in your oven with Nutella. And through collaboration, it turned out to be a croissant, which most people think is savory. This one. <laughs> this one. Is a wood Cut it with a knife or this? Knife, fork. The idea is you take the outer bread. In here is the Nutella. Mm -hmm. So when you pierce that shell, you, you need to stick the bread, poke it in there, swab it in your mouth, and watch the eyes roll in the back of your head. <laughs> That's exactly what you said to me in my video. I loved it. It's true. Yeah. I knew how Dude, I could make this phone work. It's crazy. You can already tell just by looking at the Nutella. Oh. Yeah, I think I butchered it. That's okay. I got it wrong. No, there's no wrong here. <laughs> Let's go. That bread oh. with a little hint of strawberry and a Nutella. <laughs> Straight party. It's a party. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Bro. Damn, that's amazing. This is the ultimate finisher right here. Like right after having the pizza. Mm -hmm. Finishing your night with it. It's only about 1,200 calories. <laughs> so you, you have the warm Nutella, the warm bread. What are you gonna do? You gotta submit. You gotta submit. Because there's no stopping it. Yeah. It's so good with like the, the strawberry on it. Oh. Oh. That's real deal. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, this is exactly what I thought when I first tried it. It's crazy. So like we were saying, some desserts need to be cold, others warm. And you have to be able to distinguish between the two. Cold Nutella, you know, heat it up. And only when Nutella comes in contact with the bread, mm -hmm. in a heated environment. It just spreads. It's like lava. Yeah, and the, the like the Nutella being oh, lava. really hot and like enhances the flavor than when you're normally eating it at like a low temperature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's insane. Mm. Super good. This delivers. Right? 
And we're not trying to be anything other than who we are. Mm -hmm. Dogs are friendly, horses are fast, you might as well be yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, isn't he the greatest of all time? Yeah, great dude, man. Really pleasure meeting you. You're awesome, man. Yeah, you're great. Thank Austin. you so much. You had a good year. <laughs> yeah. All right, man, bro. Yeah. Good Dude. times, man. Thanks Always again for helping yeah. filming. Miami National next uh, weekend. Yeah. It's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yeah. Get some sleep. Yeah, likewise, man. Yeah. See you soon. Okay, my friends. So it is 11:10 p.m. So we ended up staying at Woodfire for a while after we ate the food. And again, the food there was super amazing. A huge thank you to Peter because, man, just all of the just respect that he has for his products and the knowledge, the way he explained everything and it was just super amazing. So again, a huge thank you to Peter. I really appreciate it. And yeah, that's gonna wrap up the video, guys. I am tired. We did a lot of driving today between Orlando going to that donut shop and then back here to Tampa. But you know what? It was all fun, but now I have to drive an hour back to Sarasota, get home, get some rest, and that's gonna be it for this day. So again, a huge thank you to all of you guys for all the love and the support. I really, really appreciate it. And yeah, like always guys, please comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.